Abel has been helping people just like you to keep their restaurants and industrial kitchens clean and pest-free since 1924. A clean, safe kitchen prevents sanitation and food safety issues, which keeps your local public health inspector happy. But did you know it also dramatically reduces pest problems? Your kitchen is a very attractive environment for many pests. If they find a way in, it can become a source for food, water, warmth, and shelter where they can breed and multiply. You can prevent food, grease, organic buildup, and structural problems from making your industrial kitchen a haven for pests. Join us today to learn how to make your kitchen a clean, safe kitchen. Industrial kitchens attract pests because of food, spillage, odors, heat, and moisture. Common pests are house flies, fruit flies, cockroaches, rats, mice, and ants. These pests pose a health concern because they carry and transfer pathogenic bacteria to food and kitchen surfaces, spreading foodborne illnesses to customers. Houseflies breed in rotting and decaying food material, carcasses, and feces where dangerous bacteria live, like E. coli and salmonella. As flies feed, they regurgitate enzymes that help break down their food. They take in that bacteria when feeding, then fly to a new food source and contaminate that area as well. Flies and rodents are covered in hairs that will pick up and spread harmful bacteria as they travel. Of particular concern are food contact surfaces, such as countertops. Also, they urinate and defecate continuously as they travel, increasing the risk of spreading contamination. Most fly species can complete their life cycle within one week in warm conditions. To reduce the risk of fly infestation, you need to eliminate any possible breeding sites. These types of sites might include moisture, unclean sink drains, trash, or rotting food. So, a structured cleaning schedule is crucial to help reduce and prevent pests and the health threats they represent. Areas such as floor drains, sink drains, garbage and recycling containers, underneath counters, dry storage rooms, beer keg lines, and finally pop syrup towers. These areas need to be cleaned on a regular basis to prevent bacterial growth. Preparation areas need to be kept clean and free of any unwanted food debris. This will make it difficult for flies to establish new breeding sites. Regular cleaning of the floors is also critical. Removing the food source for rodents will again help in keeping your facilities pest-free. Cleaning schedules are a great asset to your pest management program. Having a cleaning routine is important, but a clean, safe kitchen must also have proper structural maintenance to prevent pests from coming in. Surfaces should be smooth and not have cracked tiles or worn grout in walls or on floors. There also shouldn't be any openings into walls, floors, and ceilings that allow for pest entry, travel, or harborages. Storage areas should be dry and shelving units should have wheels so that cleaning behind these areas is made easy. If your kitchen is structurally maintained, it will be less prone to infestation and should pest activity occur, easier to handle. The benefits to having a clean, safe kitchen are obvious, but with people's busy schedules and with new people coming on board, it's easier said than done. Discuss cleaning routines in your weekly meetings to ensure that all staff understands how important they are to running a safe and successful business operation. Here are five simple steps to keep your kitchen clean safe every day. Number one, make a list of what specific tasks need to be done. For example, wash floors twice daily, clean pop fountain daily, power wash dumpsters monthly. Estimate how long each task should take, how often it should be done, and what tools or products are required. Number two, assign each task to an employee. 
When you assign employees individual duties, they know it's their job and are accountable for that task. You might also hire a cleaning service for certain items on your list, which could be easier to manage. Number three, provide your employees with enough time to complete the job. Staff should be allotted a certain amount of time to complete their cleaning tasks properly. Providing them the time will help ensure they do the job right. Number four, provide the right tools. Work with staff to make a list of the cleaning products and tools they need to complete the tasks. Asking for their input and providing the right tools for the job sends a message to employees that you take cleaning seriously. Number five, give constructive feedback to your staff in regards to their specific cleaning duties. Whether it's positive or negative, your employees will be accountable and will want to complete their tasks properly. Following these guidelines will ensure that the people responsible for keeping your kitchen clean are motivated like you and have the tools and time they need to keep a clean, safe kitchen. You're covered with able pest control. In this section, we'll discuss the common pests associated with food, problem areas in your kitchen, and preventative cleaning methods. Beer lines and taps are prone to fly infestations. There's a certain odor that beer possesses due to the fermentation process. If not cleaned properly, the odor will linger on the lines, taps, and overflow tray. Nightly cleaning will help reduce this odor and in turn eliminate breeding grounds for flies. Regular cleaning of the beer faucet, line, and the keg coupler is very important not only to prevent pests, but also mold and bacteria. You will need professional chemicals to clean beer tap lines, the kit may be referred to as a sanitation kit or a beer tap line cleaning system. Alternatively, you may contract out this service. Prepare the cleaning solution in a bucket as instructed. Make sure to put on safety gloves and glasses before performing cleaning of beer lines. Untap the keg and unscrew the beer hoses. Then remove the faucets to the beer keg. Place the beer hose, coupler, and faucet in the cleaning solution. Connect the cleaning attachment to the faucet coupling nut where the faucet was removed. Pump the cleaning solution through the hose and into the bucket. Scrub the faucet and taps with a brush to remove any debris. Allow the taps and hose to soak in the cleaning solution. Make sure to rinse thoroughly and reconnect the lines properly. You should clean beer lines after every keg or at least every two weeks. Pop lines and taps attract flies as well. This is mainly due to the sugars that are in the lines, on the nozzles, and pop that has been spilled in the overflow tray. This is a perfect breeding site for fruit flies, so cleaning daily is a must. Wear safety gloves and goggles before mixing the sanitation solution into a bucket. These cleaning solutions are available at restaurant supply stores. Follow the instructions. Do not use hot water or any chemicals as they can damage the seals and the guns or leave a residue. Unscrew the nozzle from the fountain or gun. Under the nozzle is the diffuser. Twist this off as well. Soak the nozzle and diffuser in the sanitizing solution using the directions provided on the product while you clean and sanitize the rest of the machine. Wipe down the rest of the pop machine, including the overflow tray, with a clean cloth and a detergent solution. Rinse clean with water and then spray the sanitizing solution as detailed in your product's directions. Make sure to take extra care when cleaning the nozzle and diffuser area. Remove the nozzle and diffuser from the sanitizing solution and wipe off any dirt. Let them air dry before reattaching them to the fountain. The nozzles on the pop fountains and guns should be taken off and cleaned daily. Pop lines should be cleaned every six months and juice lines every three months. Countertops, food prep areas, and serving counters are high traffic areas and should be cleaned after each use. This will help reduce the risk of contamination from bacteria and viruses. First, remove or cover food and clean items in the area. Remove loose dirt, food, or crumbs by sweeping, wiping, or pre-rinsing. 
Then wash the area with hot soapy water and rinse with a clean dishcloth. All surfaces, dishes, and glassware used should be replaced and cleaned on a daily basis. Spray surface with a disinfecting solution. Before you begin to prep food, allow appropriate time for surfaces to air dry. It's important to wash, rinse, and sanitize food contact surfaces before each use. Follow equipment manufacturer's instructions regarding proper use of sanitizers. Also, follow chemical manufacturer's instructions regarding proper chemical use directions, dilution rates, and safe handling directions for sanitizers and disinfectants. Food preparation and pre-washing of dishes will increase the buildup of debris in the sink drains. Because flies love the organic slime and waste buildup, it becomes another problem area for infestations. Turn on the hot water. Make sure to give it time to warm up, then place it as close as possible to the drain so that the water runs down for about 15 seconds. Clean your sink drain about once a week to prevent buildup and odors. If odors or buildup occur, you may need a stronger cleaning solution, one specifically for cleaning drains. Cleaning service such as bioremediative foaming should be considered in a preventative maintenance program. Cleaning with bioremediation products is an effective way to prevent organic buildup in hard to reach areas that provide breeding habitat for flies. Mop sink areas are commonly forgotten but pose potential risks of infestations of flies, cockroaches and rodents. The stagnant water allows flies to breed. The moisture and dark lighting attracts cockroaches. If there are any structural issues, rodents will be able to begin to harbor in this area. Make sure to dump mop water as well as clean the bucket and mop only in the designated mop sink, not a sink where you wash your hands. The mop itself needs to be cleaned too. Clean the mop head and bucket with hot water and soap, rinsing thoroughly. Make sure to hang up the mop to dry. Dishwasher areas can be a little harder to maintain as it is used throughout the day. Food debris and water sources help breed pests such as flies and cockroaches. Keeping the dishwasher clean and watching for water leakage will help prevent these pests from finding a perfect home in your kitchen. There may be unwanted food stuck in the filters. Remove all filters and clean with a water gun and soft brush. Then, using a dishwasher cleaning solution, spray the filters, clean with a small brush, and rinse. Check the filter regularly. If you don't, dishes won't be cleaned properly and water won't drain. You should clean the filter every 20 cycles. Using a small brush, clean around the door of the dishwasher, grooves, and crevices of the rubber seal. Wipe dirt away. Pull the bottom rack out and clean the drain area too. Run a hot cycle only with a sanitizing solution, which will help wash away grime and remove any musty odors. Here are a few tips to help prevent spots on your dishes and flatware. Use a rinse aid. Make sure to remove food from dishes before putting them in the dishwasher. Check filters for food debris regularly. Unwanted dirt, grime, and food get stuck in floor drains causing a buildup of organic material. Flies and cockroaches will breed in these areas because of the moisture, darkness, and food availability. Remove the drain cover, loosen the cleanup plug if one is installed, and pull it out. Hot water can loosen and dislodge residue stuck to the inside of the drain. Now clean the sides using a scraper to get rid of the buildup. Remember to put the cleanup plug back in the drain when finished. A regular maintenance program with bioremediation products will help prevent buildup in your floor drains. Grease traps help to trap oil and grease so it does not get into the sewage system. These traps are usually not an issue when it comes to pests, but if left uncleaned or damaged, 
Flies will breed in this type of environment. Make sure to put on safety gloves and glasses before performing this cleaning. Unscrew the trap's lid and remove. Remove any waste or excess grease buildup. Wipe waste or grease away from the seals along the edges and check to ensure there's no damage. Your storage room is a desired location for mice and cockroaches. It's quiet, dark, and contains food. Keeping food off the ground, as well as fixing any structural issues, will help to keep these pests out. All food product containers must be sealed and rodent-proof. When open, they must be placed in a new container that will close tightly. The new container should have the product name and date clearly labeled. Containers should be placed on racks that are a minimum of 6 inches off the ground, and never on the floor. It's a good idea to have racks on wheels so they're easier to move for cleaning. The racking should not be made of bare wood. Floors should be swept and washed on a daily basis. Check the storage room for cracks once a month and make sure that the doors to the storage room shut properly. These could be hiding places for cockroaches. If not properly maintained, garbage rooms and dumpsters can offer a food source that attracts rodents, flies, and birds to your building. Cleaning these areas regularly can reduce the population of these pests around your premises and reduce the number of mice or rats trying to find a way into your building. Carry all trash to dumpsters in tied off plastic bags in order to keep them clear of food debris. Never place liquid waste or leaky garbage bags into a dumpster. Make sure to keep dumpster lids and garbage rooms closed and secure to prevent them from becoming a food source. Keep dumpster areas tidy and always use garbage bags or trash cans. Do not overfill. Should there be a spill, clean up as soon as possible. Garbage containers and areas should be cleaned and sanitized on a regular basis. This will help to reduce odors and the spread of harmful microorganisms. Have cleanup materials ready near the dumpster or loading dock areas in case of accidental spills. Be sure to call your waste management service to replace any dumpsters that are damaged or leaking. We hope that you found the tips provided helpful and that you can incorporate them into your daily operation. A clean safe kitchen will help your business run smoother and reduce the chances of having pest problems in the future. For more information, including cleaning checklists, visit us at cleansafekitchen.ca. ABLE is committed to working with our customers across the country to provide them with a pest-free environment. Find us online or call your local licensed ABLE branch. We're here 24 hours a day, seven days a week to serve you. Thank you for joining us today. You're covered with ABLE Pest Control.